Welcome back to our series on determinants. In this video, we will learn about some of the properties of determinants. Knowing these properties helps us to evaluate uh, the value of a determinant without having to expand. These are the shortcuts that I was talking about in the previous video. Now, the first property states that determinant of A is equal to determinant of A transposed, which means if A is a determinant determined by like, let's take an example a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 like that then determinant of a would be k1 y a1 multiplied by b2 c3 minus c2 b3 minus a2 x i am expanding y row number one right minus a2 b1 c3 minus b3 c1 plus a3 multiplied by b1 c2 minus b2 c1 right this is your standard expansion of a matrix of this form now what is a transpose if you remember from our series on matrix a transpose would be the rows and columns getting interchanged right so which means this will become a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 so this gives us determinant of a transpose now if i expand this along column one we again you will see we'll again get the same value a1 b2 c2 b2 c3 right we'll just see this it will become b2 c3 minus c2 b3 then i'm expanding like this right now if i expand minus a2 the next term would be from here minus a2 right will be minus a2 b1 c3 b1 c3 and b3 c1 minus b3 c1 and the third term which is this a3 into b1 c2 minus b2 c1 now you see these two are equal hence it is proven that the determinant of a will be same as the determinant of transpose of a okay this is the first property